Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Today is day two of my 14 days of sweet treats. So that means today is February 2nd. And as um, hopefully you know from watching the video yesterday, if not, um, for the next till February 1st through the 14th, I will be posting a video each day. I will be using two Stampin' Up! bundles. The first seven days is going to be all about the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, which is probably my favorite out of this whole January through June mini catalog. I love strawberries. I love strawberry stuff. Yaddy yaddy. In fact, when I was a kid, my favorite doll was strawberry shortcake. <laughs> it didn't take much. I just, when I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. So we're going to be doing this for the next seven days. And then beginning on February 8th, we're going to use the sweet ice cream bundle um, for seven days. So I'm super excited. Now today, this is the treat that we are going to make. <clears throat> It's just a little box here, and it has the strawberry, and it has sealed with a kiss. And inside the box has a Bubblicious Strawberry Bubblegum. Um, these treats that I designed um, for these next 14 days, I wanted to do them where sometimes they could be for a kid, sometimes they could be for a bigger kid, and sometimes they could be for an adult. So, um, or all. I know a lot of adults who love bubblegum. So we're going to make this today, and I'm super excited. Now, there is one thing. The Sealed with a Kiss is actually not from the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. It actually is from the Hearts and Kisses stamp set, which this actually is a bundle as well. You can purchase it as a bundle and save 10%. It comes with a punch, too, just like the strawberry and the ice cream cone. But this one comes with lips and a heart. So I, I, I'm i such a sucker for um, bundles with punches because I love punches. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. A few of the things that we're going to need is we're going to need Granny Apple Green ink pad. We're going to need Melon Mambo ink pad. We are going to need some of this ribbon here, which I can never remember it. It's like metallic weave, is that? Metallic mesh, sorry. So we're gonna use some of the metallic mesh. This actually was from our holiday catalog, our August through December catalog, and it is carrying over. So it's really nice, I love it. So we're gonna um, use a piece of that. Then we're going to use real red cardstock. Now this cardstock measures at two and a half by ten and a half. And then we're going to go ahead and score it, which I'll get to that in a moment. You're going to need two designer series papers. Now these papers measure at two um, by four and a fourth. And I love these. This pattern is going, this is our Melon Mambo. So this is part of our bright six by six pack. But this pattern is part of the pack that comes free when you purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. Um, you will get five packs. That is 200 sheets of paper. You will get it in the brights, the neutrals, the subtles, the regals, and the 20 through 2022 in colors. These patterns are going to be the patterns that will come in our upcoming annual catalog um, in May. But right now, you can get them free, and that is a $60 value that you're getting free, 200 sheets of paper. So that's a lot. I love it. These patterns are great. Um, and, of course, there's two different patterns, one on each side. We're going to be using the, like, plaid pattern, okay? You need a piece of scrap, basic white, and a piece of scrap, granny apple green. And then this little guy right here, this guy measures at, and I believe it's one and three fourths. Of course, I don't have it measured here. Let's see here. So I think I probably did it at three and a half, but by the time I did my little notch, um, and then it measures at three fourths. So it's three fourths by three and a half, and then you just do your little notch, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a little bit longer because you're gonna tuck it under there anyway. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. You are definitely going to need your simple score tool, <clears throat> which I love this tool. I couldn't live without it. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get that out. Now we're going to score on the long side first and we're going to score this at a half an inch. So I'm gonna kind of tuck it right up there and I'm gonna score it at a half an inch. And I'm not gonna go super fast because whenever I go super fast, I jump tracks. I try not to do that, but I do. And then we're gonna score it at two. So we're scoring it at a half an inch and at two. That's pretty simple, right? Now we're gonna turn it to the landscape side. So the short side all the way across. <clears throat> and we're gonna score it in a couple different places here. We are gonna score it at a half an inch. Okay, now we're gonna score it at three or four and three fourths. So we're gonna score it at four and three fourths, which let me find that little guy right there, four and three fourths. Now we're gonna score it at five and a fourth. We're gonna score it at five and a fourth. Then we're gonna score it at nine and a half. So I've got nine and a half here. And then we're gonna score it at 10. And we're gonna score it at 10, there we go. Now these measurements, I will have a full tutorial. And I'm gonna have two full tutorials. Tutorials. One will be for the seven projects on the sweet strawberry. Um, and then one will be on the seven projects of the sweet ice cream. I will release these full tutorials for sale in my PDF store under amandasinspirationstation.com. The Sweet Strawberry will be released on February 7th. And the reason why I'm waiting is because I want to be able for the videos to each project to be a surprise. So once I've done all seven of these projects, then I will release the tutorial. Um, and then on February 14th, I'll release the tutorial for the ice cream one. All right, so now we have this piece of paper here, um, our cardstock all scored, and it's kind of hard to see because it's I have a dark mat here, but we have um, on this side here, we have two score lines here. We have, so there's two strips of score lines here. We have one score line here, and then we have one here. This one right here that's at the very bottom, we're actually just gonna cut off. We do not need that. We're just gonna cut it straight off, okay? Straight off. Now, I'm gonna get my bone folder out because right now before I even start snipping other things, we're going to burnish in our lines, okay? Burnish in our lines. Now, these score lines up here that have the multiple score lines and the little guys, this is what's gonna be our tab. All right, so what you're gonna want is you're gonna want your piece to look like this. And we're gonna get to that in a second. So we have up here, we have our top where it tucks in and we have our tabs here. So what we're ultimately gonna do is we're going to bring in this center and bring this up like this. And because we're opening it on this side, I want the seams to go in the back of the box. So I'm going to then, what we'll do is we'll bring it up like this so that the seam here is in the back of the box, not in the front of the box, all right? So we're ultimately, this is what we're going to do. So I'm gonna set this up here like this and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut in our little score lines and we're gonna create a little dart. Um, the darts are just to um, make sure that these little tabs um, basically fold in easier. If if they if you didn't create the tabs, they do. Um, it is harder to fold in. So we're just going to create those and push that out of the way. So there's that. Okay. Now we're going to come over here. And we do not need this first little square. So there's two squares here on the top and two squares on the bottom. We do not need these first squares. So we're gonna completely cut these little squares on our score line completely off. We do not need them. So bye-bye squares. All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna cut on this score line up to the top and we're also going to create a dart because these are gonna be our tabs that are gonna fold in to open and close the box. So we're going to go on our score line here and we're gonna do a little notch here, do a little notch there. All right. 
And then this is our top tab here. And as you noticed with this, I angled it in because then it's easier to go right into the box to open and close it. Plus, I think it looks nicer. So we're just going to kind of give it a little bit of an angle and cut that, um, cut that squared edge off. All right, so here's our box. Now remember, we're gonna bring in this and we're gonna bring this up. We want the seam to go in the back. So we're gonna put our tear and tape on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get our tear and tape. And I'm going to put it on this tab here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And of course, I over taped it here, so I'm going to just trim that off a little bit. There we go. I feel like my scissors are kind of dull. I have this thing where, you know, I've been stamping with Stamping Up for 20 years. And I have this thing where I can't get rid of these scissors, even though I have like probably 10 pairs of them. So I never know if I grab ones that are like older and dull, but I need to get them sharpened. That's <laughs> what I need to do. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to, before we put the box together, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put our designer series paper on first because it is definitely easier to put your designer series paper on first before you put your box together. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my stamp and seal here. And I'm just going to put on my designer series paper. And as you can see, they fit perfectly right in these little spots because that is the front and the back of the box. So the front and the back of the box. I think this is so cute. This would be really cute if you have kids or grandkids and you want to, if they have, you know, Valentine treats. Of course, the teachers aren't going to let them chew gum in school, but they can take that home. All right, so we're going to flip this back. And we're going to peel. Peel. I love peeling that off. Don't ask me why. All right, so again, we're gonna tuck in our little tabs here. We're gonna bring this up. And then as we're going, we're going to now bring this up and fold this and bring this up and fold this. Just like that. Now, to make sure that it is secured, I put the gum in right away to give it something, you know, where I can then, oops. Ah! I didn't have much sticky there. Let's put a little more sticky there. There we go. Sorry. All right. So now I can go ahead and I can press on the box to make sure that it stays. There we go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut our, close our box. And actually, as you can see, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. As I'm going to close this box, see how I'm having a hard time with these tabs? That just means that I need to create a bigger, a, a bigger dirt. So I'm going to create a bigger dart for these tabs. That's a perfect example. So if you would have left them plain without the darts, they are harder. And the other thing that you can do too is sometimes you can snip a little bit of the edge off like this to make them shorter. And then that way they will also tuck in a lot easier. There we go. So there's, there's our box with our Bubblicious Bubblegum. Yay, I love it. Okay, so now let's do some stamping. Let's set this aside here. Um, and I have my ribbon. Let's do some stamping. So we need to stamp right here the Sealed with a Kiss, and we're gonna use our Melon Mambo for that. So I'm just gonna ink that up. Sealed with the kiss, just like that. And then we need to do our strawberry. Now, one thing that I showed you guys in yesterday's video is you want to make sure that when you do your strawberry, you have it right. So I like to just do my strawberry completely upside down because that's how it is in the punch when you're punching it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mat, my piercing mat first, because it is a photopolymer stamp set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp the outline first. And I'm just going to stamp the outline just like that. Now I want the inside to be lighter than my outline. So I'm going to ink this up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna stamp off first, just like that. And then I'm gonna stamp on. 
That way it gives it that, that light and dark, okay? I'm going to now go ahead and I'm going to put this in here. And to be honest, I'm one of those people that I'm not gonna waste this strawberry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, before I punch it out actually, um, this is something that I would do just because I don't wanna waste the strawberry, I can use it for another project. I'm going to clean off this stamp set that, or the stamp that had the outer rim. I'm just taking a piece of my like chamois and I'm just wiping it. And I'm gonna now put it in stays on. And I'm gonna give it a totally different look. There we go. I'm going to now punch this out. I know this is me being frugal, but I like it because I may use this now. So I'm going to, I don't, I don't like to waste, waste things. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this in my stamp set here. I have a little envelope and I have little extra pieces of projects like yesterday. I actually had a leaf from when I punched, which is in here somewhere. Here we go. I, when I punched those strawberries yesterday, I had these little leaves, and I'm like, well, those are cute. I might use those. So now I'm just going to set this in there. This is my extra pieces, and I'm just going to set it in my stamp set. That's just me. I just don't like to throw things away. And if I throw them all in a drawer, I, I do have a drawer that's extra pieces too, but I find that if I throw them in that drawer, I will never see them again. Even though they're in a drawer, I just don't see them again. I don't go back and look. Whereas here, if I'm pulling this out, I'm like, oh, I have some strawberries. All right, so let's do the same thing here for the top. Now, this time we're just doing the outline. So um, we do not need to stamp off. We just need to um, we just need to stamp one time with it. So, and of course, my piece of paper is not that big. So I'm gonna have to line that up. There we go. And all right, so we have that. See, now I have a green leaf and a little green flower. And what am I gonna do with that, kids? <laughs> That's right. I am going to put this in my extra piece here. So I'll set that aside to put that in there. Okay, I'm going to use glue dots to apply this to the top of my strawberry. And I'm just gonna go like that. All right, so now we're done with our stamping. Let's get this out of my way before I stick my hand in my ink pad. That is something I've done before multiple times as well. All right, so with this, I'm just gonna put this on flat and I'm gonna apply this on first and I'm just gonna kind of put it on the center of the box just like that, okay? Now I want to tie my metallic mesh and I literally, this piece is probably five to six inches. Um, I'm not doing a bow. I'm literally just going to tie it in a knot. So I tied it once. Now I'm going to tie it in a knot so it stays. If I can get my finger through there. There we go. And then I'm just going to kind of open up this mesh a little bit. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just leaving it like that. I'm not getting crazy fancy or anything. Now I do want to pop up the strawberry and I'm going to put a dimensional here and I'm going to put a dimensional here. I'm gonna peel those off and then I'm gonna place the strawberry. I'm just gonna kind of angle it like that. And there we go, voila, there you go. That was easy, right? Fun, easy. I love this little box. I think it is so cute. Um, I love this gum too. <laughs> Even though I, I only chew sugar-free gum now, so I can't have that kind of gum, but um, it is cute and it is fun for kids. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this this time. And I will see you back tomorrow for the next Sweet Treat Project. Bye.